today's Fugitive Australian journalist Shane Dowling from the website kangarooecourtofaustralia.com. Now, this is the second video I've done in relation to Bruce Lerman and the interview he gave with Channel 7 the other night. And this one's focused on the fact that uh, if you're suing for defamation, you should shut your mouth because what you potentially do and what they've done, uh, Bruce Lerman and Senator Linda Reynolds, they've given the other parties some ammunition that they can use in the defamation proceedings because Linda Reynolds is suing uh, Brittany Higgins and also a partner, David Shiraz. And uh, Bruce Lemon is suing Channel 10, Lisa Wilkinson and the ABC. And so in this video, I'm going to dissect some of the stupidity that they've said and done, uh, which can be used against them, used by the other parties in their defence. And Linda Reynolds, well, for starters, she's gone on Channel 7 and done an interview, which is part of uh, the interview with Bruce Lerman. So in effect, she's tied her reputation to Bruce Lerman's to a large degree. And well, Bruce Lerman has gone into court only a few months ago and confessed to being a compulsive lie, in effect. He said he was lying all over the place. He's gone on to Channel 7 in the previous interview they did a few weeks ago and said he lied and lied and lied. So for Linda Reynolds to be tying a boat to Bruce Lerman, it's not a good move. Anyhow, let's have a listen to part of what Linda Reynolds said on the interview on Sunday night on Channel 7. And don't forget, Liam, when it was reported to Fiona, my chief of staff and myself, three, some three days after the incident, it was reported to us just as a security breach. Oh, hi, mate. Uh, Bruce Lerriman here with Minister Linda Reynolds. We've been requested to pick up some documents. Because two staff going in after hours into a defence portfolio office, it was a huge security breach. So that's how we dealt with it. What people possibly didn't know and what she wouldn't have known at the time is that that was Bruce's uh, second security breach, if you like, incident. And so after Fiona talked to him about that incident on the night, um, we let him go. So Linda Reynolds says she wasn't notified for three days. Well. They had the uh, security people go and check on uh, Brittany Higgins on the night of the alleged rape and they found her naked on the lounge. Uh, they uh, had the lounge steam cleaned only a few hours later and the steam cleaner or the cleaner was told to look for condoms. You heard Linda Reynolds say it was a major security breach, but apparently she didn't know for three days. It's not believable. Now let's have a listen to what Bruce Lerman said trying to justify why he's not suing Brittany Higgins. Compensation? You're looking for millions of dollars? Oh, no, no. Well, it will it will have to be a multi-million dollar claim because I need to consider the very real possibility that I may never work again. Not that I might have um, 40 years of economic loss. I will never, ever be able to work again. So that needs to be factored in. Well, who would employ you, Bruce? That, exactly. I agree. After being smeared and slammed, as I have been for the last two or three years now, it was found that Director Drumgold denied you the presumption of innocence. But that doesn't mean that you are innocent, does it? Well, it, well, I am innocent, Liam. As I said to you last time we sat down, I mean, this, this entire saga was made up. I mean, <laughs> if we were able to have a fair trial and a trial at all, uh, I'm entirely confident that it would have rendered a not guilty verdict. But Mr Drumgold took that away from me. On the day we interviewed Bruce Lerriman, indeed, almost at the exact moment he was talking to us, Brittany Higgins was visiting her parents in Byron Bay and posted this provocative message on Instagram. Despite all this, Brittany Higgins is still saying you raped her. That's completely false. And I mean, I'm in a position where um, we really need to stop giving oxygen to this. I mean... But, but it, Bruce, it's, it's very public. She has published on social mm. media this morning, mm. and I quote, talking about the police involved in the case, the federal police, these police never wanted to charge my rapist. That's you. Mm. Totally defamatory. Totally defamatory. So are you going to... Sue her for defamation? Well, as a, it is always a live option. Um, there is a lot of trickery going on here, and I think there's uh, some elements of poking the bear, so to speak. But uh, she, uh, she's still calling you her rapist. Does she think she can win in a civil proceeding? 
Um, well, I don't know. We'll f I suppose we'll find out with the upcoming trial because um, I I'm pressing ahead. We're going. I'm, I'm not backing down. I'm, I'm ready to go toe to toe. You're talking about the Channel 10 defamation. Yeah. Now you heard what he said, but uh, the media all reporting, or especially the News Corp media, saying, "Oh, Brittany Higgins got three million dollars. Three million dollars. Well, why doesn't Bruce Lerman sue her?" The answer is quite simple because he knows if he sued her, she's going to give evidence. When he started suing Channel 10 and Lisa Wilkinson. They weren't counting on uh, Brittany Higgins giving evidence. So that sort of backfired in a huge way, and that's part of the reason they're doing the interview on Channel 7 is trying to intimidate Brittany Higgins. You've seen uh, Channel 7 filling Brittany Higgins on the beach. had no relevance to the story whatsoever. That was a deliberate attempt by Kerry Stokes and his Channel 7 to try and intimidate Brittany Higgins not to give def um, evidence at the defamation trial in October. Not only has Bruce Lerman not sued Brittany Higgins, he hasn't sued the other women who alleged he raped them, or the media who reported the stories. And one of those media companies is ABC, so he's already suing the ABC. Why doesn't he just add those extra stories of the other alleged rapes to the current lawsuit? He could do it that easy, but he won't go anywhere near it. Now let's have a listen to what Bruce Lerman has said in relation to Shane Drumgold. This is, is looking like a, a very, very bad train wreck. Mm. Brittany Higgins says she will never work again. Fiona Brown has never come back to work again. Mm. Lisa Wilkinson looks never to go back to work again. You're virtually unemployable. It, it, is there anyone else? I mean, well, Drumgold's lost his job. Well, let's talk about Drumgold and the list of people you've just talked about. He is central to the effects on all of those people you've just listed. You know, allegations of um, unethical treatment of Fiona Brown, how he treated Linda Reynolds, even how he's treated Miss Wilkinson. I mean, I'm against her in another set of proceedings, but how she was treated by the director is also pretty bad. So to varying degrees, we all, we've all been touched by um, Shane Drumgold and his social justice crusade that he was on. So you think he's the root cause of all this trouble? Absolutely. This case should never have gone to trial. The police said that, and he's, he, he used it to ram it through the court system for his own agenda. Once again, Bruce Lerman is telling the big lie that Bruce Lemon has been pushing and also the News Corp have been pushing for a long time that the police didn't want to charge him, but they come unstuck because at the ACT inquiry, no one challenges the fact that uh, Bruce Lemon shouldn't have been charged. Not even Bruce Lemon's own barrister challenged it and he gave evidence, which meant the inquiry, Walter Sofranoff, had no choice but to make a finding that he should have been charged, which Bruce Lemon has uh, forgotten for that interview on Channel 7 and Channel 7 didn't uh, try and correct uh, Bruce Lemon. They should have done. They've just allowed him to get away with a blatant lie. The only police that didn't want to charge him was the investigating police, and they should be investigated for why would, didn't they want to charge him when there was clearly evidence to charge him. Not only did they not want to charge him, they were actively working in the background by tampering with evidence and documents, etc., trying to make sure he got off. Now let's have a listen to what Bruce Lerman has said in relation to compensation. And the only people that win in all of this are the lawyers. You know. And you want what? How much from the ACT government and Channel Ten and well, the ABC? How much? We haven't we haven't put we haven't put figures on it, but there needs to be some compensation for me. All right, so you want at least four or five million? I'll put words in your mouth. Maybe sure. maybe six million. <laughs> so we're... there. You heard it, uh, Bruce Lerman, the six million dollar man. Yeah, well, Channel 7 would have been well aware that uh, Walter Sofranoff, the inquiry chairperson, has gone into hiding, won't answer any media questions, and he's potentially facing criminal charges himself. But no, Channel 7 didn't even mention that, or the fact that Walter Sofranoff found that uh, Bruce Lerman should have been charged, and Walter Sofranoff had no choice but to make that finding because no one challenged it. Yeah, I suspect uh, Shane Drumgold might be uh, agitating in the near future for some sort of legal action, either to have the Walter Sofranoff... Uh, Inquiry uh, report struck off, set aside, and then potentially might even go after some people for defamation himself. Who knows? But this matter is a long way from being over. Now, below this video, I'll have a link to my previous video where Bruce Lemon's barrister, Steve Wybrow, refused to say that he thought uh, Mr. Lemon was innocent when he had an opportunity to do so. In Kangaroo Court of Australia's independent media, I publish a website, YouTube channel, Facebook page, and Twitter account, and I'm 100% crowdfunded from viewers like yourself and I currently have 311 Patreon supporters donating $1,992 a month 
I really need to double it to become financially viable and you can donate any amount, $3, $5, 10 15 20 30 40 50 a month, whatever suits your budget. And the link will be below this video on YouTube for the Patreon account or you can visit my website. The link is on there. And please share this video on Facebook and Twitter, etc. Thank you for your time and have a good day.